hotspot of biodiversity these are the some of the places which are richest and the most threatened reservoirs of plant and animals on the earth so they are rich in the animals different type of animals and plants and they are also the most threatened reservoirs and that's why these places are called as hotspot or biologic biodiversity hotspot a biodiversity hotspot is a geographical region in which a significant reservoir of biodiversity that is under threat from human beings are available so to classify one area or to identify one area as a biodiversity hotspot we need to fulfill some of the criteria and these are the number of species present over there secondly the number of those species found exclusively in an ecosystem and lastly the degree of threat they face so these three conditions or criteria fulfill for each and every hotspot area india is having three hotspots and these are the western ghat the eastern himalaya and the indo burma region let's talk about some of the important terminology first of all extinction so what is the meaning of extinction extinction is the end of an organism or of a group of organisms normally a species so when there is end of one kind of species then it is called as they are now extinct examples are dinosaurs are now extinct an endangered species is a species of organisms facing a very high risk of extinction so they are just going before the extinction and what is vulnerable species is it is one which has been recognized or categorized by the international union of conservation of nature as likely to become endangered unless the circumstances threatening its survival and reproduction improves so there are three things extinction endangered and vulnerable so initially the species goes for the vulnerable then it goes to the endangered and finally it reaches to the extinction there is another thing that is known as edge species or evolutionarily distinct and globally endangered species these are the species of animals that are related to evolution or they are evolutionarily distinct and they are also globally endangered this means they are also in danger and they are very close to extinctions for example elephant panda a well known species or there are smallest mammal that is the bat bumbly bat these are the edge species these are some of the examples of the endangered species which includes gir lion crocodile flying squirrel flamingo wild ass desert cat desert fox and some asiatic elephant also so these are some of the animals which are in endangered species some of the plant species which are also endangered species includes gugul sarp gandha sandalwood then kalp vriksh pitcher plant cycas and ephedra etc are the examples of endangered species black buck is also one of the endangered species which was also known as kala heeran in india earlier it was found all over the india except in the north east region of the country due to large scale poaching and destruction of habitat its its existence now is restricted in some part of punjab gujarat rajasthan uttaranchal and haryana the black buck does not require dense forest even it is usually found in the open plains in herds so open plains need to be conserved in order to enable the black forest to move freely recently the film actor salman khan was sentenced to 5 years imprisonment for shooting black buck and the last one is the endemic species endemic species means these the plants or animal species which are only confined to a particular region and having originated there in a species or a species which occur continuously in that area are known as endemic species so these are some of the plant which are not found anywhere else in the world so they are endemic to india these are endemic plants of india examples are 
like elaichi burgad and people these are some of the plants so what are the threats to biodiversity there are many threats to the biodiversity which is decreasing the biodiversity and they are deforestation pollution agriculture expansion exploitation of water resources mining urbanization overgrazing poaching of wildlife eutrophication construction of dam waste disposal and forest fires